And with that, it's now on to our session on how to get the most out of a virtual forum. And thank you to all of you who have joined us in our earlier sessions uh, in our virtual concert, uh, conference and uh, joining us for today's uh, uh, early review of the communique. Over the next several weeks, we will be offering a range of opportunities in the form of technical panels, workshops, country sharing panels, regional meetings, side events, and of course, the opportunity to contribute to the drafting of this year's forum communique. The transformation of the forum to a virtual format means that a lot of what we as a community have grown to expect from the forum will be different. A virtual format presents new opportunities as well as new challenges that we look forward to navigating together. As a virtual event, the forum is more accessible this year than it has ever been before. And this is critical as it will take the engagement of a diverse range of global perspectives to rise to the challenge offered by our board president, Dr. Kleinman, to imagine a new world of school feeding. But as we have all experienced this year, the transition of life to virtual has brought with it its own challenges as many of us have had to learn how to become both teachers and students once again, and have had to humbly step into the challenge of learning how to use new technologies that were previously optional. We understand that will be the case in navigating the opportunities available to you all during this virtual forum experience. And we look forward to working alongside all of you to meet you where you are and to ensure that the technology can serve as an opportunity to expand access to knowledge and information as opposed to a barrier. In today's session, I will briefly highlight the different components of this year's agenda, what the goals of these different components are, and perhaps most importantly, how to access these different sessions. I will offer an initial walkthrough of these sessions and do a short live demonstration on how to access them within our different virtual platforms. As a con con concluding piece, that I will refer back to at the end of today's presentation. We are de dedicated to ensuring that this forum is a learning experience for all, us included. And so within today's wrap up communication that will be going out to forum participants in which we will be linking to a recording of this session, we will also be taking an opportunity to solicit feedback from early forum participants on what has worked well so far and what could stand to be improved and we will continue to implement those improvements throughout the, the weeks uh, coming to ensure that we continue to have easy access to the information that we all wish to engage with. As indicated earlier, I'd first like to walk us through some of the different session styles that we will see offered throughout this forum event. First, we have our panel style webinars. I think throughout this year, all of us have become much more accustomed to spending our days watching these types of webinars, but we have a variety of different styles. Throughout these three weeks, we'll be offering a track or a series of technical webinars, which will feature thought leaders and implementing partners from around the world, sharing their knowledge and understanding and learnings on different topics, such as the importance of access to childhood nutrition, the importance of school feeding as a tool to fight hunger, even when schools are closed, as well as how to manage or how to navigate the safe reopening of schools. Alongside this, we will also be offering panel opportunities for country sharing, in which we will be inviting different government officials or regional partners onto the stage, so to speak, to share more about their experience and their country's experience in helping their program navigate the challenges that the pandemic has caused for all of us this past year. Additionally, within the events agenda, you will see that we have opportunities for collaborative workshops and to help make sure that we all understand how these will be offered the pause here will be to, to, uh, to help everyone understand 
that you will see a number of these workshops being offered multiple times throughout the event. We have three workshop series, one on health and hygiene, one on fortification and biofortification, but more importantly, the importance of nutrition in school feeding programs. And then finally, a track on funding and advocacy. These are all be collaborative style workshops in which you'll be in a Zoom session where you will have the opportunity to speak, and have your camera on and directly engage with session facilitators. These sessions are offered multiple times, not because it is necessary to attend each of them every time, but because we understand that while offering a global virtual event, it's important to try to create a wide range of time opportunities for folks that are joining from different time zones. You're more than welcome to attend a workshop more than one time if you would like to take your learning a level deeper or to interact with different contextual examples. But we hope that you at least try to join each of those once and that the opportunities provided will give you the opportunity to engage with those facilitators and take some learning home with you. Additionally, in our agenda, you'll see that we feature side events this, this year where those have not uh, made their way into the agenda in the past. These side events are opportunities where we've collaborated with our key partners, our friends, and our colleagues to feature different information and different perspectives that more broadly address the importance of childhood access to nutrition and how we can see partnerships more broadly helping us achieve that, both through school feeding and through other interventions. And finally, an additional style of engagement that will be available as we've made in past years is our forum marketplace. Only this year, it will be virtual. I'll be taking us through that marketplace so that we can get a better understanding of how to make use of a marketplace in a virtual setting and what kind of benefits that offers to us as participants. And then finally, before moving over to the live demo of some of these different key uh, aspects that I've touched on here, it's important that I clarify the different virtual platforms that we'll have access to throughout the event and that we might refer back to. First and foremost is the GCNF event website. You all know it and many of you have probably already visited it a number of times. This is a public website that is av available to anyone with the link. It's found at www.gcnf2020.org. It's where we feature um, uh, access to a PDF and printable version of our event agenda that will be updated periodically. It's where we also have detailed FAQs to help you navigate the different questions that you might come across as you try to access our different virtual events. We also have more information about this year's forum, links to resources from past forums, and any other questions that you might have, as well as details on how to contact us if a new question were to come up. The two other digital uh, or virtual resources that we'll talk about throughout the event is first, CVENT's Virtual Attendee Hub. The Virtual Attendee Hub is where you will have access to all of the different sessions. You'll be able to add those to your personal calendar. You'll, it is the, the site that you will go to to access a session live. And it's the site that you can go to to read more about the different speakers and about the different sessions that will be available. This is a little bit different as I will show you shortly, than GCNF's CVENT event website, which is again, a resource that is only available for event registrants or event participants, but provides you the opportunity to not only interact with the virtual version of our agenda, but also to access the public participant list. One of the key aspects of the forum has always been the opportunity to engage and collaborate with new partners and make new connections in the world of school feeding. During registration, you were given the option to opt in or to opt out of this publicly available list. Participants during the session will have the opportunity to go and view this list, see contact information if you've so chosen to, to share that and reach out and forge new connections, set time to connect with new people and hopefully walk away from this experience with new friends. If you visit this list and you see your name or your contact information listed in there and it's not something that you wanted to have available, we do also include information in our FAQ page on how to remove yourself from that list because it is a completely optional resource that we make available to you all as forum participants. With those pieces of clarification out of the way, I'll first take us over to our GCNF website where we'll visit the FAQ 
and I will highlight how to access that resource in both English and French. Then I will move us over to the virtual attendee hub and take us on a tour of how to visit the different sessions, what kind of details will be made available, how to access the ongoing Q&A function that we will have open for a variety of different sessions, and how to add those to your calendar. And then finally, I will take us over to the CVENTS event website, where I'll show you how to log in and access the participant list to make the most use of the resources that we've made available possible. So as I first indicated, from the GCNF event website, you have the opportunity to go to an FAQ page. As you hover over the FAQ page, you'll see in the dropdown that there's the opportunity to view this page in both English and in French. I'll be going through this demo in English, but hopefully the translation resources that we're providing during the recording will help you understand where, what uh, aspects are moving through. As you can see, we offer responses and guidance to a wide variety of questions, but the main one I wanted to draw folks' attention to is a resource that I've already myself found to be quite useful. And that's the question, how do I access the Zoom information to join a live event? Due to the structure of this event, uh, every time you access a Zoom session, you will need to be logged into the attendee platform. And so to save that link in an easy to access location for anyone who might be registered, if you come to this question in our FAQ page, you will find a link here that will move you directly to, as I just described it, GCNF's CVENT Virtual Attendee Hub. If I were to click on this link, it'll take me to a page that looks like this. Some of us have maybe already interacted with this page, and for some of us, this might be the first time. Maybe you decided to utilize the link that was sent to you in an email prior to the session, rather than coming here on your own. There are a variety of ways to access this, but if you forget any of those, please always remember that you can find that link in our FAQ page and always, always feel welcome to reach out to us with any questions. Now, prior to this session, I made sure that I was logged in on the internet browser that I am using currently. But whenever you come to this page to um, enter, if you have logged yourself out, the login is simple. All you need to do is enter your name and the email address that you used to register. The system will send you a confirmation email with a passcode that you will use to enter the virtual attendee hub. As long as you don't log out, your browser should keep you logged in for the duration of the event. But if you ever find yourself logged out, just remember that you can enter your name, your email, and within five minutes, a passcode will be sent to you to access the attendee hub and you can stay logged in there to interact with our different sessions that we'll be making available throughout the forum. The easiest tab to navigate is the All Sessions tab. We hope to add uh, button functionality later to move sessions into your My Event so you can prioritize certain areas of the forum. But in the All Sessions tab, you'll be to see, able to see every public event that we'll be hosting throughout the forum. Each session is, in, is its own link that you can follow to learn more about the event and to access it live. As an example, I will walk us through the introduction to a virtual forum, which is the session that we are currently in. When I click on this, you'll find that because it is now live, there's a green button here that says join session. This button will only appear five minutes before the session is scheduled to go live. And so if you go there earlier, it will not, it will not be visible yet. It will come on five seconds before and you can join our waiting room and join us when we take the session live. As I mentioned earlier, this particular session has the question and answer function turned on and we will continue to keep it on throughout the duration of the event. For our technical panels, for our country sharing, all of these question and answer tools but uh, by the end of today, will be turned on in advance of that session. So if there's a technical panel and you have a question that you would love to, ha to have uh, asked or responded to, and you are not sure if you'll be able to make that session live, please feel free to submit your questions in advance of the session. And we'll do our very best to address those live. And if not, follow up with you as best as we can. So just remember that this is a tool that will remain available to you throughout the event. 
if you have any questions about accessing virtual content in our attendee hub, you can always come back to this session and this question and answer function will remain open throughout the duration. Another example of how these session details can be utilized can be found down below here. For example, in our workshop session coming up on Thursday on fortification and biofortification, why nutrient enriched school meals are more important than ever. In a variety of our workshop sessions, you'll actually find that some of our facilitators no, have given you the option to, uh, uh, to engage in some of the content as a pre-read to help ensure that you are as prepared as possible going into the workshop and that you will have the opportunity to gather as much learning in that session as possible. Please feel free to refer back to these areas um, on a regular basis as facilitators will continue to add content and resources there. Additionally, in this workshop and in all sessions, speakers that have completed their speaker profile within the event or have worked with us to do so will be listed here so you can get an idea of who the session will be led by and a little bit more about what they do. Within each session, you will see an add to calendar button. So if there is a workshop that you are partic particularly interested in attending, or if there is an optional session, such as a communique drafting meeting, you are particularly interested in making sure that you don't miss, you have this option to add it to your calendar and it will download an ICS file that you can import into your calendar, which will contain a link to direct you to the session uh, upon it going live. One final note on the all sessions page before I move us over to the exhibitor booths is please note in the top right hand corner, it will tell you what time zone you are viewing your agenda in. So this will allow this page to work best for you wherever you are in the world. Please be sure to confirm that it is displaying your time zone, but this should always be the case whenever you log into this page. As I mentioned before, a hallmark of the Global Child Nutrition Forum in the past has always been our marketplace. It's in a space for gathering, for interaction, for snacks and beverages, and a chance to meet each other and to learn more about what some of the different implementing partners and private sector actors are doing in the world of school feeding. This year, we pause to offer you the same opportunity, but in a virtual capacity. In each of these booths, you'll have the opportunity to learn more about what these organizations do and interact with resources that they have provided. As an example, I will take us to our very own Global Child Nutrition Foundation booth. Within here, you'll, uh, you will see that we, uh, you'll have opportunities to link to that organization's website, as well as their social media. There'll be an opportunity, excuse me, to reach out um, to, to the team managing this booth, learn more about what they do, and every organization will have the opportunity to upload files as well as links that can connect you to important resources that might benefit you as you expand more what you do in the world of school feeding. After you've viewed an exhibitor, you can always return back to the all exhibitors page and view another booth. We will continue to update this information throughout the forum events. So we encourage you to visit frequently. As I mentioned in this morning's communique session, by the end of the day, what you'll actually be able to do is return back to this booth and you'll find detailed within the links, as well as the description, the link to the ongoing form communique draft, as well as the link to the survey where you will be able to submit feedback in the event that you are unable to attend one of the live drafting sessions. Other booths will be added throughout. And by the middle of this week, as we get to, uh, as we, we start to engage in the different collaborative workshops, you'll also see GCNF will begin to start offering a GCNF partnership booth, where we'll be offering different supplementary resources to the different collaborative workshops that will be available throughout. Concluding this, there are two different ways to reach the GCNF's CVENT event website. First, I can refer us back to the website's FAQ. On the FAQ page, 
that very question that I explained that I would be addressing, you'll see that we have a link here to the website if you would like to see the full list of participants that are attending this year's event. You can also access the ex exact same website from your Cvent Attendee Hub portal by clicking on your profile tab and clicking event website, which will direct you to this page. Now this page will also require login access because the display of the participant list is for forum registrants only. And so please rest assured that your information is only being shared with those that have, been, that, that have, have joined as formal forum participants and are also sharing their information. Now I won't be logging on live on stream, uh, uh, on stream here, but the information that you'll need to log in is the email address that you registered with, as well as the confirmation number that you received when you registered initially for the forum. I find it myself helpful to have that saved both on my computer and in an analog format. I like to write things down by hand and it helps make sure that every time I need to access this page, I know exactly where my confirmation number is and I can get here quickly and easily. In order to enter that information, you arrive at this page without having logged in. You'll be able to click a drop down here and the post registration line will be an option for you to click on. If you click on this post registration button, it'll ask you for that email address as well as that confirmation number. Once you've logged into that, you'll actually be able to click onto this participant list, which will open up an additional browser, which will provide you the full list, names, organizations, countries, and emails. Some folks have opted to be on the list and not include their email, and some have opted to be on the list and include both. Please feel free, and I encourage you to utilize this research to forge new connections, start new conversations, and if something goes great, let us know as we'd love to celebrate those kinds of uh, outcomes and opportunities from the forum. So those have been the core objectives of what I had hoped to share with all of you during today's session. First and foremost, what kind of content is gonna be available through the agenda and how will I have the opportunity to interact with it? Hopefully I've answered that. There'll be a number of panel style webinars where we'll be learning about technical content and country sharing opportunities. There'll be a variety of collaborative workshops, regional meetings that we'll have more information about, as well as the uh, collaborative communique drafting sessions. We have the forum exhibitors booth, and we have side events. With a three week, three week long event that provides us the opportunity to, as we go, potentially add more information or more content uh, as, as we get farther uh, into the agenda. And so please note that at the con uh, conclusion and at the beginning of every week, we will be issuing out a full registrant email communication with highlights from the past week. And we will be sure to draw folks attention to any new material that's being offered in the upcoming week as we continue to engage with new content creators and implementers to share more about their experiences last year and school feeding. And with that, everyone, please keep your eyes open for our, 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 uh, our first day wrap up email that will be issued at our end of day um, here on the west coast of the United States, which will contain a synopsis of everything that we've covered today, and then survey links to follow up from the communique session, from the opening session, as well as an initial day one survey uh, to where you will have the opportunity to offer us feedback on what went well and what was challenging in interacting with virtual content in day one so that we can be sure to be focused on continually improving that experience for you, our foreign participants. Thank you everyone for joining this live session. And I look forward to continuing to engage with you throughout this event. Thank you.